Hey everyone, so I'm stupid. This is Her Majesty Spiffing, and uh, I did a v part one a while back, and then completely forgot I was playing it until about an hour ago. So we're gonna pick it up now and maybe just see if I can finish it. When we left off, I was trying to use the rubber glove to open that cage down there and reset the power because it's all sparking with electricity. Problem. The glove is too small. I have now discovered that I'm supposed to use an air compressor to make it bigger. Which doesn't make a lot of sense. And also you think that the space suit that way would already be insulated from electricity, but whatever. I, this game clearly does not play have any realism whatsoever. I mean, there was a cow in outer space. Why was there a cow in outer space? Alright, let's do this. Let's listen to Nigel Thornberry and Space Talk. Didn't do anything. Come on, use it. It's gonna shoot off. Yep. Well, it certainly is bigger. Ah, pick it up. I thought this will come in. Wait for it. You know, and this game... <laughs> just, just jump out in the ship. You shouldn't be here. Just... I don't feel suitably dressed to be heading out. Oh, fine. Whatever. Yeah, this game is funny and I enjoy the commentary. Or, or the... I just enjoy the writing in it. It makes me laugh, but uh... I really don't like that interaction menu. Maybe it's better if you are playing it with a mouse and keyboard, because like I said, I prefer controllers. And just because I was a console gamer before I was before I'm a PC gamer. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it probably is better suited for mouse and keyboard. Like, uh, like the round menus that were in, like, Fallout and Oblivion and stuff. Look at that smirk. Voila. That should significantly reduce the risk of death by electrocution. Okay, Always power switch. Comforted. Flip it. This should do the trick. Boo. Okay, now maybe we're able to Oh god! No, that's mm-hmm. Yes. What? Right. Oops. We ever so clumsy. What was that? Did anyone else see that? Check back with Alan and see were, that sorted everything. Uh, like the, the, the ring girl was in here. She's here. I'm not the only one that saw that, right? What? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, that was scary. Okay, hopefully we're able to fly the ship now. That was what the point of everything in this game has been so far. I broke the controls by spilling tea on it. Well, actually, I just don't know how to fly the ship. Alan, my uh, first mate, he's the one that actually did the spilling of the tea. Hey. Oh, what the hell? What is this? I see Allard's activated the autopilot and skied off. Call me old-fashioned, but I prefer the more natural look. Ah, uh, hello. I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met. I'm Frank, but please, call me Captain English. Welcome. Captain English. How may I be of assistance? Yeah. I don't suppose there's a Mr. Autopilot, perchance? Compiler error. Incompatible types. Access huh. denied. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go find the other guy. Log off. It is now safe to be removed. It's a... Uh... I see the autopilot's working. Unlike Sub-Lieutenant Jones. 
Let's go figure out what he's up to. And hopefully there won't be... I'm scared to go through every single door now because I think there's going to be a scary ring zombie lady. I mean, what was that? <laughs> Is he... He's doing something. He's playing with Hot Wheels? Sub-Lieutenant Jones! Hi, Boyo. What is it you're tinkering with there, Jones? Hot Wheels. That isn't our reconnaissance robot you're disassembling, is it? Well, but funny story. While you were downstairs attending to that very complicated, laborious task, oh, taking that switch yeah. on and off, I you shut your mouth. There was a zombie lady. On the Beagle two she was scary. I presume that's why the floor's covered with bits of toy Hot Wheels track. Firstly. The fact that this modular vehicular pathway simulation system happens to be mass produced and branded as a children's toy is irrelevant. And secondly, yes. That's all well and good, Sub Lieutenant Jones. However, <sighs> if I recall correctly, we were specifically advised that the Beagle 2 2 tended to function significantly better when its complicated array of electronics and mechanical components were positioned inside its aluminium housing. Look, I just have to make a few minor repairs. Aluminium? During a centrifugal force Aluminium? The rover proved exceedingly resistant. So it uh, blew off the loop the loop bit. That would be a valid interpretation of events, yes. Sounds like I'm going to be required to go on some kind of scavenger hunt. What do you need? To get the rover going again? For the time being, that's all I feel I'm obligated to offer, yes. I think the rigorous nature of the, uh, test may have burned out the main motor. I see. So, I'll have to find something to create some sort of a... I already found a motor. ...that'll revolve when a current is passed through... I was way ahead of this game. ...pulley system of sorts to drive power to the wheels. Something with a taut elastic band should do the trick. Like an alluring undergarment. Now, if I was to remove the elastic... Alternatively, but you could just always grab me a spare. We've got a cupboard full of them. Did you notice the? I don't suppose you noticed anything out of the, the spooky lady when I was performing that emergency systems reset procedure, specifically immediately once the power came back on. No. Why should I have? Well, well, I don't know. Probably not. Forget I mentioned it. Who's driving the boat? Nobody. We're tied. I turned the autopilot on. Hmm. She was only installed a week ago and already her standards are slipping. Be sure to put your toys away when you're done. Yes. Okay, um... Motor? Hey, look, I got the thing. I don't give you anything, Sub -Lieutenant Jones. Every single yeah, item I picked up is bigger than the pocket I put it in. But now get this mess cleared up and put the Beagle 2-2 back together. One hour later. I just now realized that I did not hit save when I was setting up the scene. The last time. To record. Last By Jove it was. Oh. In 600,000 yards, your destination will be on the right. Left you bumper. Your destination. Sub Lieutenant Jones, we've arrived. The new, new world. Quickly, break open a container of property of ER2 flags and prepare a landing party. As much as I'd love to jump onto the surface and soak up the radioactive atmosphere of this uncharted, most likely fatally hazardous planet, I think it may be to send the Beagle 2 2 down first, just to get a feel for the place. I considered your suggestion, Sub Lieutenant Jones, and have made the executive decision to send the Beagle 2 2 down for a quick recce prior to making our own triumphant descent. The extra time will allow us to properly consider which 19th century member of the aristocracy to name this place after. Alright, let's do it. Uh... Whoops. Well, that was a great recon mission. Gosh, I didn't realize we had full damage switched on. 
<clears throat> right. Well, we'll have to go down and salvage the rover. It'll look very embarrassing if we lose another one of these. Set us down. It's just like Mass Effect Andromeda, except this is a good game. So nothing? Let's do it. Let's go. No doubt filled with epic loot, as they say on the YouTube. Ah, cheers, Buck. Aha! A rock. It's a rock. This is one of those situations where you're stuck between a rock and well, more rocks. It isn't really the sort of environment that lends itself to observational comedy. Yeah, it's just a rock. I can't do anything with it. Can I get back on the ship and like leave him up behind? Another rock. It's another rock. And anything over here? Nope. Let's see if I can leave him. What's the rush to leave? Now we're here. Uh -huh. Let's go down the ladder. Okay, he doesn't have to come with me, I guess. Oh no, he's coming. Wait, the, what? Are we in the future? Another rock. There are a lot of rocks. Let's just, what the? 
You must find a shrubbery. Not so fast, you ah. Looks like France got here first. By the power of Grayskull. I have the power. Oh, my dear. I can't believe you actually said that. Yeah. Honestly, I imagine this standoff will be resolved through the completion of some sort of moderately juvenile, yet entertaining puzzle. How can you be so sure? Well, it's got us this far. We intend to ridicule you into submission, exhausting and exhausting. Huh. Isn't that how you win, Charlie McDennis? Are you going to celebrate with a petit trumpet? Eh? Wash down with a cup of tea? Expose your crooked teeth while you laugh regaling this tale with your unsatisfied wives? Ha! Duh! Can't play that game, Monsieur English. I fear you underestimate the extent to which a conceited self-confidence fueled by national historical achievements can profit one in such circumstances. Centuries. You'll have to do better than that. Uh, well, we could. Look! A three headed monkey! Where? Quick, some Lieutenant Jones! Run! Oh, man! How did I fall for that? <coughs> ben, you're right. I am too trusting. <coughs> this got real weird, real fast. Let's go look around, I guess, on the ship. Man, they really tore that rover apart. Bad monkey.
Oh, I will be long. I'll be very, very long. And I'm going to be back on the ship soon. I hope. Let's go in the lab and see if there's anything in here useful. It's part of the laboratory equipment the biologist we were supposed to have on board brought. I'm not sure what happened to him. No one's seen him for weeks. He's, he's in there. Not to worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. If you could bottle it, you'd make a fortune. Hmm. It doesn't appear to be working. It has a warmth that you simply don't get with digital. Especially if you burn the sleeves as well. Bicycle. 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 Let's see here, let's check out everything in here. I don't want to go back to the engine room because of the spooky ghostly that's in there. The box is sealed shut. Why, it would be impossible to determine the fate of any biological life form inside. Oh. Well, I guess I should save my aim. Huh. It isn't great for the environment. Replacement ribbons are a real biohazard. Nothing. All right, let's go upstairs. Whoa, what happened? Are you kidding me? Let's go. What? Okay, we are back after that, uh, slight thing that happened. Don't really know why that happened or what caused it, but let's just hope it doesn't happen again. Alright, I'm pretty sure I've thoroughly explored the sitting room, but there might be something in there. Who knows? Maybe I can do something with this shovel at some point. Squish, 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 squish. Ooh, shovel. Wait, that worked? Please have that be like dark matter or something, Futurama style. Hi, Bendito. I make no bones about how grim that was. Huh. A metal detector. Can I use anything over here? Uh, over here. Guess not. This is going to be a lot of me wandering around the ship trying to figure out what I'm to do next. I'm going to have to enter engineering again. And I assume deal with the spooky ghost lady. How's the refrigerator still cheese? 
Yep, silk Why? cheese. It's packed to the rafters. Best leave some space for alternative dairy produce. Oh, nothing in here. Let's see if there's anything in the cockpit. And then, if not, then I guess. Are we sure we can't just fly away and leave them behind? Please let me. Let's rather we leave it on. Less things to move. I don't think it's safe in a spaceship like this to have all these exposed wires and such. Autopilot, still autopiloting. Yes. Surely. The writers could try and plagiarize a wider variety of sources. Okay, nothing in here. Let's go to engineering. Yes, we found a metal detector. That's all we've done. I'm kind of wondering how the metal detector will come into play. Done around here, you've got to do it yourself. Unless there's another room besides the lab and engineering that I haven't explored. That doesn't seem to be, seem to be true. I don't believe the isolation. Uh, I don't want to go in here. Me to talk to the furniture just yet. No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, uh... No, I wanted to check this whole box. Yeah, uh, let's see, is, can I combine... Oh yeah, I got an idea. Combine with the I metal detector. No. Nope. Okay, toolbox. Look. The other toys left aren't nearly as exciting. Hmm. Let's go talk to Alan. Yeah, may maybe he has something to offer. And look at the map. Because I could have sworn there was See. a. There's airlock, upper deck where I am, engineering bay, and yeah. What the hell, Arn? Now more loading. Hopefully it won't be alone loading. Surely you have something to offer. So there's a fro that frog tank. Apparently, I'm supposed to catch a frog. This is 
Skyrim another half hour when we that oh, okay the game is free just froze my frame rate just dropped like three frames a second so apparently I have to catch a frog that's what the internet just told me because I can't figure it out on my own and the metal detector came into play because there was like coins or something in the sofa so, let's look at coins from the sofa and catch a frog in the claw game. That, that, that seems like a very, this seems very elaborate. If I sat around long enough uh, thinking about it, I probably wouldn't be able to figure this out, but it's better to do this cause, and all, because I don't play too many adventure yeah. games like this. Either the upholstery's been woven from tinsel, or we've hit the jackpot. You know, I've heard of... Lady's purse filled with loose change. You know, I've heard of a, um... I've heard of someone losing coins down in the sofa cushions, but I've never heard of anyone ever losing their entire purse. I feel like as soon as you sat down, you would know. All right. Now we gotta use that record too. If you remember in the last word, if you saw the last word and remember it, it had a death metal on one side, and apparently we need to flip it over. Especially if you burn the sleeve as well. You burn the sleeve? Why would you burn the sleeve? I can't use these two that's, together. That's not what I wanted. It's a pedal powered vintage. So I gotta like put the frogs to sleep. Preserved thanks to the tireless efforts of hipsters from all corners of Shoreditch. Okay, so it's gonna play like death metal, right? I why did I get off? Oh, I was saying A B instead of A X. That won't put them to sleep. Biggest floor filler since concrete. The technology predates most Brexit supporters by at least 14 years. How do I flip it? Music. I know I have to flip it. How do I do it? Did the internet lie to me? Gosh. It's full of the blighters. Oh, shut up. They're a bit reluctant to let you lift them. Can't imagine why. Music, the language of the soul, transcending national, cultural, and other areas. Also, uh, that's Iron Maiden, with the font sound stuff. <laughs> Double-sided to keep everyone satisfied. There. Now, I think that's lullabies to put the frogs to sleep. See that little needle? There, they're asleep. Now, uh, the purse? No, not the cheese. 
I don't need the cheese yet. Equip that. Now let's see if this is as bad as the uh, regular Fall Games. Oh god. That looks good. No. Ah. No. Pick up that frog. Pick it up. You okay, me? Why can't I just pick it up? This is gonna be. Why would you make this as irritating as the actual game? And also, once I get it in a spot where that little light there lights up, I can't move it anymore. Yes. Okay. Oh, hey, I moved on another frog. Pick it up. Do it. Grab it. Drop it in the thing. Gotcha. Okay, I, it. I would, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was programmed to just drop and I'd have to do it another time. Yes, get the frog. From you know the old saying? A frog in the hand is worth two in the biological science testing facility. Yeah, get in, yeah, get in the pocket. Uh, let's get out of here. French people, they like to eat frog legs, right? I mean, well, I guess that's not just French people, because I guess people do that in America. I've never had frog legs. I don't know if they're any good or not. I mean, if I was offered them, I'd probably try them. <sighs> okay. I don't believe the isolation of space. No, exit. Talked. Well, that that claw machine. Why would they make it so aggravating? Why is that the one thing they decided to make realistic? The know how aggravating claw machines are. I now have cheese and a frog, two things the French people love. That and wine, I think. Let's uh, get the cheese ready now. Now, supposedly I can go up there and give it to him and he won't attack me. Or he won't kill me. He might fire some rounds at me. Hey, hey buddy. No. I ha I got cheese for you. Hey, it looks like cheese now. It looks more cheesy. May I give him the frog? 
Hey, I'm not a frog. Let's use the cheese with the frog. Combine. How convenient. The cheese sticks to his moist green flesh, thus progressing this ethically questionable puzzle. You got a cheese frog. How is he drinking the wine? I hope the little fellow's all right. I wouldn't worry. I'm sure they won't harm him. They're not complete savages, just French. Hmm. Right. Well, that's the first thing it'll have to go. Ah! They appear to be protected by some kind of high tech electrical wizardry. Ah. Uh. Stop it. Oh wow, they uh they really went all out on the line and such. I can't hear what he's saying. Maybe I can get a rock or something and put it. Let's get a rock and hey, it's the rover. I guess we should get that. Let's try and salvage something like a spare wheel nut or a fragment of dignity. Hmm. Before its untimely passing, the Beagle 2 2 appears to have discovered. It's a Let's use the rock with the washing machine. Huh. Throw the rock at it. Do it. Fantastic game.
At least I, I think I do. Maybe I'm, how about I throw the rock and then stick it inside the thing? I mean... Don't be fooled by the rocks that I've got. I'm still, I'm still Francis from, uh... Well, that ought to do the trick. Whoa! Hooray! Talk to him. I want to do this. Victory is ours, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Now, hey, Nelson felt a Trafalgar. Prior to being shot, of course. Although I'm fairly certain I pulled something in my throwing arm earlier, so I can empathize. Quickly, Sub Lieutenant Jones. We don't have long. Do you have a flag ready for hoisting? Standard. Uh, yes. Is it ready to go? I for you. Right. Now make sure it's the right way round. Honestly. It's a symmetrical flag, but all right. It is right. The British flag is symmetrical. I, I think I hear someone coming. Will I hoist it now, Boyo? Steady, Jones. It isn't official unless we play the national anthem. Fortunately, I have it saved on this anodized aluminium portable music. Yeah. Go, go, go. No. We'll have to do it now, boy. That's not it. That's not it either. Is the sound of fire getting louder? Why does it 
Well, it's even the most, that's all we could afford. Huh. So, I guess... Um... I, I guess that's Her Majesty's Swiffing. A odd game with pretty good commentary and it's pretty fun, funny writing in a lot of places. I don't know why the ring girl was in it. That seemed unnecessary. Huh. Anyway, there you go. That's the entire game. Yeah, can I skip? Is there something after the credits if I skip them? No, it looks like it just takes you back to the main menu. Anyway, there you go, yeah. Her Majesty's Spiffing. Strange. And that's it. I'll see you all next time.